Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today I'm going to show you how to install and self-host Bitwarden on Docker using Portainer. Bitwarden is a free and open source password manager application that you can use to manage your website login information and passwords. It has client applications for almost any device or browser including Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Microsoft Edge. If you have any suggestions for more application tutorials, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on new tutorials that are posted to this channel. Because we want the installation to be as lightweight as possible, I'm going to use a Docker container that contains Bitwarden RS. This version of Bitwarden is a server API implementation of Bitwarden that is written in Rust. It is important to note that this project and its developer is not associated with the official Bitwarden project. The first thing you need to do is log in to your Portainer interface. Click on Container and then click Add Container. We will call this container Bitwarden. The container image for Bitwarden RS is Bitwarden RS slash server. We will need to publish one port in order to access the Bitwarden web interface. On the host we will expose port 8005 and map it to port 80 in the container. Next we need to add our volume. The Bitwarden data volume within the container is located at slash data. We need to bind mount this folder to a folder that we created on our system. The path to the folder that I created is located at slash home slash pi slash docker slash Bitwarden. There are no environment labels for this container, so we can go straight to setting our restart policy. In this case, we want our restart policy to be set to unless stopped. Now we are ready to deploy the container. This could take a while depending on the speed of your system and the speed of your internet connection. Once the download and extraction of the container is completed, you will see it on your Portner dashboard. It is best to check the logs to make sure that the container started up properly. You will notice that it says the address of the installation is located at 0.0.0.0 on port 80. When visiting the installation, we will need to replace 0.0.0.0 with the IP address of our Docker host. We also need to replace port 80 with the port on the Docker host that we mapped to port 80. In this case, it was port 8005. Now we are ready to visit the installation. This is the Bitwarden login screen. The first thing to do is to click on the create account button. Now we can enter our email address. I'm going to use a fake one. In this case, mine will be striker at striker.com. Next we enter our name and our password and click on the submit button. Oops, I forgot to click the checkbox. Make sure that you use a strong master password. Now that our account is created, we can log in using our newly created email address and master password. Once you click submit, it should take you to the main dashboard. If you would like to add a password, click on the add item button. It will bring up a screen that you will use to enter the login details of any website. In this case, we will add our fake website randomwebsite.com and use the username random username. Can you guess the password? Once you click save you will see your newly created entry. If you click on tools you can see that you'll have access to a fully featured secure password generator to help you generate random passwords for you for different websites. You can also click on settings in order to change the various server and account options for your Bitwarden installation. When you are finished, don't forget to log out properly in order to keep your information secure. If you would like to integrate Bitwarden with your browser, you can go to the Bitwarden website and click on download to view and download the various applications and browser extensions that will work with your new Bitwarden server. Of course, all of relevant links are listed below this video. And that's all there is to it. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up button. 
If you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.